hey, genuine well wishes and constructive critics to me, I am grateful for letting me know my negatives. At the outset, I wish I able to have a safe journey in 2022 and subsequent years. In spite of the three waves of Corona, with fourth and subsequent waves in pipeline, in progress, all variants of cancer, in full swing in India, all with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the globe. It is social activist come good-hearted preacher Professor S. Suresh back with the sheer ecstasy, reborn again an infant for my 194th video, 194, on unveil of publication on YouTube today, 11th November 2022, Friday. The topic for today is exploitation of groundwater and its impact on society. I assure you my videos are short and sweet worth every femtosecond of your time, of your precious time. We are martyr, but our videos are immortal. So we live through our videos forever. So I am confident that I live forever. Having published 194 videos so far, including this particular one, for the benefit of society that are absolutely free. Groundwater is a water present beneath Earth's surface in rocks and soil pore spaces and in the fractures of rock formations. About 30% of all readily available fresh water in the world is groundwater. A unit of rock or an unconsolidated deposit is called an aquifer when it can yield a usable quantity of water. The depth at which soil pore spaces or fractures and voids in rock become completely saturated with water is called a water table. Groundwater is recharged from the surface. It may discharge from the surface directly at springs and seeps and can form wetlands. Groundwater is also often withdrawn for agricultural, municipal and industrial use by constructing and operating extracting wells, extraction wells. The study of the distribution and movement of groundwater is hydrology, hydrogeology or groundwater hydrology. Groundwater is often cheaper, definitely cheaper, more convenient and less vulnerable to pollution than surface water. Therefore, it is commonly used for public water supplies. Groundwater is fresh water located in the subsurface pore space of soil and rocks. It is also water that is flowing within aquifers below the water table. The natural input to groundwater is seepage from surface water. The natural outputs from groundwater are springs and seepage to the oceans. Groundwater prospecting involves various methods to locate suitable quality and quantity groundwater for extraction. Spring water is essentially groundwater that is discharged at points where the physiometric surface interacts with the ground and intersects the ground level. Exploitation is the act of making some area of land or water more profitable or productive or useful. An act that exploits or victimizes someone, treats them unfairly. Groundwater exploitation and its impact. Usually the groundwater exploration projects pass through the phase of regional surface, surveys leading to detailed surveys and ultimately resulting in the exploitation of groundwater by means of boreholes wells. The main objective of these surveys is to study and understand the hydrological cycle of the region to have an overall concept about the type, nature and number of aquifers, the quality of groundwater. The proper exploitation of groundwater resources involves, apart from the location of suitable source, the construction of properly designed wells. The design and execution of water supply systems and their maintenance is in integral part is an integral part of the scheme of exploration and management. Numerous problems of groundwater exploration and exploitation require systematic use of scientific techniques. Increasing water demands associated with the rapid urban development and expansion of irrigated land have led to over-exploitation of both surface and groundwater resources. Greedy bastards and beaches drill deep bore wells in agricultural lands and other locations where water quality is good and sell them in cans and bottles that too without any treatment whatsoever. Another adverse effect is leaving these uh, bore holes open when they can't find any water and uh, children and uh, even uh, 
animals falling into the those pits deep pits and losing their lives precious lives what's the government doing about these things industries directly discharge their liquid effluents directly in water streams without any concern for society and environment real psychopaths nobody ever thought that we'll pay money to use water but now it's a reality even in developing countries like india over exploitation results in going deeper and water becomes alive and salty and not fit even for bathing or washing clothes or utensils once water is removed from aquifers the empty space needs to be filled but leaving the voids leads to vibration underneath the earth transfer to the structures on top of this surface especially when earthquakes occur over exploitation of groundwater results in land subsidence to sinking contaminant reach the rivers and springs faster than groundwater and may affect the groundwaters much longer than spring and river waters contaminants on surface leach through the soil and contaminates everything underneath the surface leaching groundwater exploitation of an individual well creates a local cone of depression of hydraulic heads exploitation of ground well groups additionally creates a zone of depression of the groundwater table over exploitation occurs as far as groundwater abstraction exceeds available groundwater recharge from precipitation of surface water contribution in such a case one aquifer of the aquifer system undergoes pressure reduction changing the effective stresses in aquifers grain to grain stress and initiating subsidence in fine grain and consolidated silt and clay aquifers example magra in 1978 this may endanger constructions example mexico city move coast lines example maracaibo lake in venezuela and change even the surface drainage system of catchment areas lies lake zig area in germany subsidence of sediments reduces the storage capacity of aquifers over exploitation of groundwater resources may also favor the subsurface inflow of saline waters either from deep aquifers or from oceans thus harming crops soil fertility and drinking water drinking water quality as well example coastal aquifer of israel and gaza caribbean islands over exploitation of groundwater resources also called as groundwater mining because a non rechargeable portion of extracted groundwater is lost causes mostly long term transient hydrodynamic conditions and provokes hydraulic shortcuts between different aquifer system this may lead to undesired water quality changes that is water becomes unfit for usage as i have mentioned before generally groundwater is over exploited in countries like india because of the population explosion boom and inadequate land area availability which yields in uh, high population density even in south africa people stop for edible quality water in future lack of edible quality water will lead to wars between countries This is a reality between adjacent states in India. Example, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Tamil Nadu and Karnataka for Kaveri water, Tamil Nadu and Kerala for Mullai Periyam. Water is a natural resource created, provided by the supreme power, God. And all sentient species on earth are equal right for usage. But there is so much inequality in distribution and usage. Affluent ones in society consume more while when downtrodden are suffering besides animals. This is cruelty or should be considered equal to genocide. Generally, per capita consumption of water, electric power is very high in developed countries. Besides, these countries' contribution to pollution is very high because whether it be air, water or ambient noise levels, but the effect is on underdeveloped countries or developing countries. Greediness is the root cause of all evil in society. So, 
DVD, that is mass elimination of such psychopaths, is essential to transform this earth like ever. Elimination. Debates, discussion on open ended topics like this can go on forever. And you know, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements used express are solely mine based on limited knowledge gained over six decades of versatile experience. Always watch these videos with the closed caption subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension. As per my sincere recommendation, zillion times so far. I have made it as my policy to complete the presentation within 20 minutes maximum. Today, I must have taken uh, maybe like 9 minutes. This time limit is self imposed to retain the viewer's attention as a norm. Stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distancing, attribute to pandemic and all COVID 19, and prolong your lifespan. Lead a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one that can put a stop to natural and unnatural events like bio war, cyber war such as pandemics and epidemics which ultimately pays away for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species on the earth for no fault of those, rest in peace and harmony.